I just done a 10 minute drive for an unfair fight, that's a 4 on 2 She said it's Nokia, I seen half the country, maybe this year I'll start touring too Man got way too much time on their hands bro, try and understand who you're talking to Any how my you come with a razor, that's a free shape, pop someone line the suit Before I stepped in that meeting with Sony, I splashed my face, put my line on vibrate Just the smell of this pack probably made man's eyes bloodshot and my pupils dilate Bro I wish I could let man slide, but my pride too heavy to let a man violate If a man want risk it, turn man statistic, my bruise can't boost up the crime rate Apparently I glamorise trapping as if man's history is... Absolutely dead Oh me. To be fair, it is a Friday. A little arcade over there. Yeah, Friday morning, everyone's at work. Just walking towards the ball ring now. Don't think it's going to be open actually, but uh, we'll find out. Right, just got back from the butcher's meat market. Got a load of meat in here. Gonna just do a little time lapse, unpacking all this. I've got some salmon here as well. Sat in this square. There's the uni over there. Uni? Not the uni, the library, sorry. Probably where all the uni students go though. And we're in this big square, but we've got all this space to ourselves. Up here. Along here. Yeah. Yeah. back too close. You ain't even Trust my brothers from We're back from the north, it's the end of the old, spend it like they owe me. Gotta stay slick, don't come around to me, better come correct. Different lives that we lead, I'm in the night, keep check, and I'm back in Louis V. So guys, that's the trade we're in, uh, just hovering around break even still. It's currently two o'clock, just going to see how this trade goes. Obviously, it is Friday, so there is a chance that we end up closing this just not really when it's gone anywhere, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but for now, I'm going to show you a week review, the uh, third week on that account that I've been showing you on YouTube. So let's get into it now. Right, guys, this is the third week. Um, let's start this off then. So first trade of the week was a loss on the 29th. It seems... The start of the week doesn't seem to be great for me. I seem to lose trades at the start and then bring it back later in the week. So first trade was a loss. It was on uh, CAD Swiss. Let's take a look. So price came down. Um, took out the swing point at 0.66640. Devil's number over there, triple six. Took it out. I had a uh, bullish candle close after it. I got in long. Pretty much got stopped out straight away. Price came down to a uh, wick lower and then I believe actually it did come up after that so I just kind of got taken out on a bit of a grab but uh, yeah that was the first trade. Second trade was on EURUSD. By the way the win rate on EURUSD, wow I did some back testing on it, it's pretty good so uh, yeah going to be looking at EURUSD a lot more but uh, this is the trade we took on EURUSD. Price came up, strong move up, took out this swing point here we had, um, I was watching this candle, the one that closed bullish, um, the way that I trade this is I wait for the swing point to be taken out and then the next candle in the opposite direction that closes, I go from there. So this one was actually bearish for a while and then it closed bullish, so I had to hold my guns. Um, even though you know, it would have worked out, I just hold off and then the next candle closed bearish and that's when I jumped in and uh, yeah, we got in that trade and took just over one hour. Uh, yeah just over one, I think it was like 1.17 hours or something like that. But yeah, that was the second trade on the Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday going into the 1st of May. Um, let's just have a look. We did a bigger trade as well. Uh, this is on EuroJPY, another short. We came up, took out the, uh, the level at, where is this, 168.6. Um, this was a bit of an interesting trade because obviously the bearish candle that closed was pretty big. But then I was thinking, there's a lot of liquidity down here to take, and we've just taken out any stops up here from the people that were uh, selling early on. So I was targeting down here. This trade actually melted off a cliff. I'm pretty sure um, I could have captured way more, but you know, I'm happy taking that, taking a small piece of the pie. It's better than nothing in it. So 
yeah, we closed out down at 167.65. Uh, that trade returned us uh, about 1.5R, maybe a little bit slightly over that. Uh, but yeah, nice little trade there on a Wednesday. Thursday we took a loss. That was on uh, Eurocad. Just show you the trade. Um, we came down, took out this uh, area here. Uh, we had a kind of bullish hammer, followed by a no bearish hammer, followed by a bullish candle close. I got in on the close, just stopped me out. Nothing else to say about it really. Obviously wanted to come a bit lower, and that's fine. And then the final trade of the week was actually cut short. I closed it because of the close times. It was uh, getting late on a Friday, and I was like, well, I'm in profit. Don't want to hold it over the weekend, so I'm going to close it. But yeah, got in quite late in the afternoon. This was at two o'clock on a Friday, so a bit of an iffy one, but it was a nice, nice trade. There was a swing point. Um, you can't see it here. In fact, I'll find it for you. Uh, it was just here. So yeah, we took out this swing point at 0.66443. Um, wait for the bearish close again. The candle that took it out was a big news candle at uh, 1.30. Took out the um, took out the liquidity close bearish, I jumped in, um, we actually didn't really have much movement after that, it was just a bit of consolidation, so I just closed it out at, uh, I'll tell you what time I closed it out, around 6 o'clock, so yeah, didn't take uh, one half of that trade, I think we took just over 0.5 hour, but ended the week positive, so at the moment we are just over 4% up, um, ending that week, uh, how many trades did we take that week, let's have a look. We just took five, so if we look at the equity graph, uh, we're at 16 trades. So if you look from the 11th, uh, the 11th trade up till now, we've gained about just over half a percent in that last week. So nothing crazy. That first week was really the one that propelled us forward. The last two weeks have been a bit consolidated, but we've uh, still made profit, so can't complain. Yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, that's the third week. I'll see you guys back for the next week, fourth week. So guys, that's it uh, for the trade review. Going to see how this trade goes that I'm in currently. Obviously, what I showed you is like a week or two ago compared to what I'm filming now. Um, trading's been weird recently. It's been pretty boring, to be honest with you. I've just been turning up, clicking buy or sell or not clicking anything. And that's it. And um, I think that's how it should be, really. You shouldn't be trying to get in a like an adrenaline buzz out of trading that defeats the point of it kind of turns it into gambling if you're getting a dopamine hit out of it but um yeah I've, I've made it incredibly simple it's literally just little one two combo just see that see that click don't see that don't click don't see that and that don't click and that's literally it sounds brain dead and ridiculous but it's been working so can't argue with the results so far, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Obviously, it's still early days, um, but I'm prepared to kind of keep doing this and then get a funded challenge or whatever, and just throw some money at, at the wall with this this way I'm trading now if it's still working, and then uh, see if we can bring in some profits uh, from the funded accounts. I'm determined this year to get a bigger payout from a from a prop firm. I did last year on the 25k, but it was a very small payout. It was just almost like a, you know, I had the account for a bit, got like two payouts, but because the account was small, the payouts weren't very big. But yeah, I'm, I'm determined this year to, to fully send it and just almost go hard or go home. It's like I've been doing this for what, four years now and haven't really got that much to show from it. So I want to just fully um, kind of make the most of it. But obviously going to do that when I've got something I'm fully confident that actually works. It's one thing having the back testing, but you need you need to know you can trade it live. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's uh, a sit from me. Hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you in the next one. Like get packed, get left in a puddle. I won't scuffle, but I'll wave and shave. Better to be safe than sorry. And glow stays on me. I'm live every minute of the day. Doing this brought back dotty and free in a trade. Doing laps on a man's estate. I'm at shift these gap rolls, whipping up yay. Residual on my hands, can't wrap this slate. Push P, I push pats, I'ma push this weight. And with the axe and the SV on the M, we gone for more than a week. You know them way. Cause I'm trying to make bread, what can I say?